Hello lovely YouTube family and welcome to another highly informative video and in today's video we'll be diving into how to recover a hacked Facebook account. Now this tutorial is actually going to cover a whole lot as it's going to show you all how to recover your account if you are being hacked. Now without wasting much time, let's dive into the tutorial. Now the number one thing you're going to notice after you've been hacked is you're going to be logged out and our Facebook is going to ask you to try to re-log in into your account. Now this is basically how the page is going to look like once you're hacked. Alright. Now once you're actually brought back to this page, rather than inserting any details, what you want to do is to simply click on forgotten password. Alright, you want to use the option of forgotten password password that's the first thing you want to do all right so now let's say you click on forgotten password now facebook is going to assume yeah you actually have your account but now you've forgotten your password and you're simply trying to relog it now they're going to ask you okay can you confirm if this is you can you confirm if you have uh this email you know starting with s you know and the rest all you simply have to do is simply continue if all these options are actually okay all right, so you simply want to click on continue. And now once you click on continue, Facebook is going to simply send you a call to your email address. Okay, the email that is actually linked with your account. And now all you have to simply do is to go to that email. Okay, so you want to open the email. All right, so now once you open the email, you're going to see the code. All right, you're going to see the code. Okay, so now once you have the code, all you simply have to do is to insert the code here all right so you want to insert the code and now once you insert the code and click on continue you'll basically be told to create a new password all right so now once you click on continue now as you guys can see create a new password this is something you want to do almost immediately you're being hacked all right you want to do this almost immediately all right and then you simply want to click on continue all right, and now once you click on continue, you'll notice you'll be logged in back into your Facebook account. This is actually one of the fastest ways to recover your account. This is more like the best of best scenarios. As you guys can see, I'm back into my account. And now what you want to do next once you're inside your account is to simply head to your security settings. All right, you want to head to your security settings. And now once you head to your security settings by coming here to your profile, Click on settings and privacy settings again. All right. And now you want to simply head to security. As you guys can see over here, see more in account center. So you want to click on this. All right. And I want to click on this. You want to ensure all your security settings are very good in account center. As you guys can see over here, we have password and security. You want to click on it. And now you want to ensure you're changing your password, which you already did. You want to ensure your two-factor authentication is actually on. All right. And then you want to click on where you're logged in. This is very crucial. Once you click on where you're logged in, you want to see uh, where the hacker, you know, is actually logged in from. And you want to ensure you log out the hacker immediately. And by simply doing this, you actually have your account secured. Now, this is more like the best scenario. This is more like the easiest way to recover your account. Now, another method of um, another issue that a whole lot of people also face is if they actually lost their email account or they lost their mobile number or they forgot to even link their email address or an active phone number to their Facebook account. Now, if this is actually your case, all you simply have to do, okay, please follow me and make sure you're following up or, you know, you're jotting down and taking note. Now, all you have to do if that is actually your situation is you want to go to a new web page and I want to type in hacked Facebook. All right. Now, once you type in hacked Facebook, you want to go for the first option over here. You want to go for either of the three options, the first three options, as you guys can see, hacked and impersonation account, either the second one or the third one, depending on which one works for you. Uh, most of the time, the third option works if you're using a mobile device. It works better on a mobile device. But then let's go for this one. It's simply the same thing. 
Now, Facebook has provided a whole lot of feature that would actually make it easy for you. And now we're using this particular feature cause you don't have your linked email address or your mobile number on your account. So now you want to scroll down here where you have recover a hacked Facebook account. Okay. And you can see the second one here, recover your Facebook account. If you can't access your account email address or mobile number. Now this is the one you want to head for. All right. So this is the one you want to head for. So now once you click on this one, you want to scroll down a bit. All right. And now this is the link you want to click on. All right. And now as you guys can see here, Facebook has even given you details in case it doesn't work. As you guys can see here, we have, if you don't have access to your email address or mobile phone number associated with your Facebook account, maybe because you were hacked and your password was changed or you lost or forgot them. Very good. As you guys can see, Facebook is actually making it a whole lot easier for us. Now try using a different mobile phone number or email address, which you might have forgotten are associated with your account. So they are saying that in case you have, you've actually forgotten this one, you can try out all the past phone numbers you've used before or email addresses you've used before on Facebook. And now the reason why they're saying this is because Facebook has a very good record of tracking all your details. You know, Facebook is actually the biggest of biggest. Okay. Now they have, they actually have the records of tracking your history and they can actually bring out your past phone numbers to still link it with your Facebook account. Now, as you guys can see, the second one here is double check that you've entered your mobile phone number or email correctly. Okay. And then you can try contacting your email provider to see if they can help you recover access to your email account. In case you're actually using a Gmail and you know, um, you don't have access to it. They're telling you that you can simply send a message to your email, you know, provider telling them to help you, uh, with an easier way to access your account in case you've actually lost it but then let's say um uh, we just want to go for facebook options okay facebook link all you have to do is to simply click on this one over here all right okay. so um if you believe your account has been compromised uh click on this option over here so what you simply want to do is to click on my account is compromised and now they're going to tell you to insert your mobile number or an email address. You know, like you said, you've forgotten those things or you've lost them, but still you want to insert any one of them over here. All right. So let's say we want to insert our mobile number. Okay. Now you want to click on continue over here. All right. Now you want to select your account. They're going to bring out several uh, pictures of different accounts that that number or email address is linked to it. So you simply want to click on whichever one is actually for you. So let's say this is, this is mine. All right. And now the final thing you simply want to do over here is to click on recover. Okay. And I want to simply click on recover. Okay. Once you click on recover over here. All right. In case you see this option, cause Facebook actually brings out this option a whole lot, especially if you're using a device that is it's a device you don't usually use. Okay. But then if it's a device you use, what is actually going to happen next is Facebook is going to test you with several questions, more like um, um, amongst this list, who is actually your friend amongst this list, you know, uh, they're going to ask you outside questions that once you're able to answer, they're going to recover your account easily. So that's actually what is going to happen if you click on recover on a device you've used previously to log into your Facebook account. Okay. So once you click on recover, Facebook is going to give you easy options in recovering your account options like who amongst this list is your friends or, uh, what is your secret, uh, answer to this question or something like that. And then from there, once you are actually able to answer these questions, you'll be logged back into your account. And now in case you don't have a mobile device that you've used previously, then the best thing you can do is to simply go to your SIM provider in case you've lost your number. You simply want to head to your SIM provider, whatever network you're using, and then do a SIM swap. All right. You want to do a SIM swap, more like getting a SIM, but then you're going to apply the number you used on your Facebook on that SIM. To do this, you have to head to your SIM provider to do this. And then in case of the email address, you might have to send 
a message you might have to compose a mail to either gmail whatever mail you're using telling them you've actually lost your gmail account and you need it back to be able to log into your facebook account this is actually uh the worst of scenarios in case you don't have a mobile device you've used previously to access facebook and you just have to get your facebook account back all right so i've actually provided you all with all you need to understand in terms of recovering your facebook account and for the purpose of this video in case you're still struggling or in case you're worried i'm going to drop a link for you all to assess me directly so i can actually help you guys in recovering your hacked facebook account so i'm going to drop it in the description below for you all to send me a message directly so i can help you out as i've helped out a whole lot of people in my previous videos so yeah guys that brings us to the end of today's video if you surely learned a whole lot in today's video make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed drop a like on the video and also feel free to share with your friends and family members as well as those out there that you feel should actually watch this video and i'll see you all in my next highly informative video thanks for watching